One of the more useful things in computer science is to model objects in the real world to run simulations. For instance, you might create a, a model of a plane to analyze uh, air traffic control patterns, maybe a model of a bacteria to talk about or analyze uh, bacteria movement in an organism, uh, or model products uh, for sale on a website. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a class and the three basic components of a, of a very simple class and how to create and initialize them with a driver. So I'm going to start off with a class and it's going to be a my phone class and I'll open this thing up here. And this class is going to be a little bit different than what we've seen before. It's going to be a blueprint of an object. So it won't have a public static void mean like we've seen in the past, although we'll have that in a driver. So I'll say public uh, class my phone and class my phone. And what you want to do when you create a class are three basic things. First thing is to create your instance variables. Second thing is you want to uh, write a constructor which initializes them. Write constructor to initialize instance variables. And third, we're going to write a two string for printing purposes. Okay, so let's take a look at some characteristics characteristics of a phone. I'll choose a couple. I'll say an integer for the memory capacity, and I'll say uh, double for the cost, and I'll throw one more in here: private string for the carrier. Okay, and I'll throw one more. I'll say private boolean uh, is Wi-Fi on. Okay, so these are some characteristics of a phone. Maybe the amount of memory, and I'll say in gigabytes. Okay, how much it costs as a double, the name of the carrier, and whether or not the Wi-Fi is on. Notice how I don't initialize anything here. I'm going to do that in the constructor. Um, this word private means that this information or these pieces of data are uh, not accessible to anybody else unless I grant access. Um, I want to give, give the least amount of accessibility to things um, like these variables because I don't want any external programs changing them. Okay, So that's what the constructor is for. It's a, a set of code that actually gives these variables values. So I'm going to say public uh, my phone. It's the same name as the class you see right here up top there. One, two, three. And constructor my phone. And just like the word says constructor, it's used to construct the object or actually give values to these variables. So I'll say memory capacity equal to four. Now we'll go sixteen. Sixteen as in gigabytes and cost is equal to one ninety-nine point nine nine. Uh, Carrier equals a new string. So we actually have to create the string a t and t, let's say. And is Wi Fi on? I'll say when you buy it, the Wi Fi is not on. It's false. Okay. Boolean is a value that can be true or false. All right. So I'm going to hold off for the string here in a second so you can see what basically occurs. So I'm going to close this. It actually compiles. Now to make this run, we need a driver. We need a, and I use the same name, I just give it the driver extension there. Open this up, get rid of that. Public class my phone driver, one, two, three. And class my phone driver. And then this is where I'm gonna have my public, public static void main string args. Okay, so just as I can create an integer, uh, int num equals five, or a string name equals a new string, hello, I'm going to create a new uh, object called a phone, or my phone. I'm going to say my phone, my cell, is equal to new my phone. So this line of code is very similar to the, the string above it. I'm going to create 
string is a built-in type, so I, I have access to that. But here I'm designing my own object, a phone, on my phone. This is the name of my phone, my cell. And I'm going to create a new one just as I create a new string. And then to actually see that this works, system.out.println, I'm going to print my cell. Just as I could print a num or a name, I'll print my cell. So let's see if this works. Compile, close this, and run it. And it gives me something, but not quite what I expected. It says I have a phone. It's something with numbers and letters. What this is actually saying is that I do have on my phone in memory. It's in this memory location on my computer. This is hexadecimal, therefore includes some letters here. But it's basically telling me that, yes, it does exist at a memory location. That's not quite the printout I was looking for. I was looking for something that showed me the memory capacity and all that business. So let me go back to the phone. And that's what this two string is for. This two string you see here is for me to actually print things out in the manner in which I want to. So I'm going to make it public. OK, string. Notice how public here is different than where private. Public means it is accessible to another program or another class like the my phone driver. Um, a string, two string, and basically two string means I'm going to turn this phone into a string so that it's able to be printed out. And method two string. That's what two string means. Turn it into a string. And for what purpose? To print uh, to print out. Okay. So I'm going to create a string. Output. The output is going to be a new string. And in the output, I'm going to put all the information I like to. Output is going to be equal to, uh, I'll say, make it nice and neat. Memory capacity is quote plus and the actual memory capacity plus. I'll come over here. Uh, and I'm actually going to put a new line. It's going to basically give me a return so this prints on the next line or else it'll be strung out in one big long, long gigantic line. Uh, cost is cost plus that uh, new line. I'm going to put a plus sign here to string it all together. And what is it? Carrier is plus the carrier, AT&T, plus a new line. And finally, uh, Y5 is on plus, and I call it is Y5 on, and that should be it, uh, I believe. Yep. So let's see. And then when I'm done creating the string, I return it. Return output. Okay, I return the output. And so output contains this long string here with all the information with the actual values that I placed here. And that is what will be print, printed on the screen. So I can design my two string to print out uh, information in any uh, way that I want. So let me compile this. I think it's okay. Close it and then recompile. And let's run it this time. And there's my information. So the two string that I wrote uh, overrode the default printing mechanism, which printed out on my phone at a memory location. I can actually print out the values that I want in the format that I want. So I did one per line. You could make it one long line. You could put spaces in there and change the text here. But you can uh, alter that as much as you want. In the next video, I'll show you how to um, construct a phone with different values. Um, this is a, some default values like a stock phone with these values, but uh, you possibly want to create a phone with different values um, in the driver, so you're not creating the same one every time. So I'll cover that in the next video. But those are the three basic um, components of a, of a class, creating instance variables, writing constructors, and a two-string.